if you are watching my channel i'm sure you are here to learn and get tips about the music industry hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is rosaria lubende the komima imadudu i'm a music promoter and a music manager on my channel i teach and give tips to independent artists and up-and-coming artists about the music industry i got involved into music industry through my husband who was a lead guitarist and a founder of the real sounds of africa band my father too was a lead singer in a band called limpopo jazz band from drc republic of congo this is why I have a love for music so much. This is why I have an ear for music. And I'm so excited to be doing this series. You don't know how much excited I am. In this series, I'll be talking and sharing video clips of the greatest artists of all time. So I'll start with artists from Africa, as I said in the past, and move on to other continents. Who knows who will be the next singer? So let's get straight into the topic. What does a great song mean? When I mean a great song, it's a song which when you hear, you feel shivers down your spine. You feel these goosebumps. You feel as if you are in a different planet or a different world. If that happens, there's no doubt whatsoever you are listening to a great song. I have experienced it many times and I think many of you have. So the rhythm and the sound of music, that's what makes it a great song. I keep repeating, you don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics. It's the beat and the sound which create a great song. Understanding the lyrics, don't get me wrong, it's icing on the cake. But I think music must speak a universal language. And I've always said so. The rhythm and the sound of a song can make or break a song, meaning the difference between a hit and a flop song. The song I am going to introduce today will show exactly what I mean when I say a great song you don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics. The lyrics of this song was written by a Cuban poet, Jose Martin, in 1891. This is how old this song is, but it's still a hit up to today. The song also inspired a non-profit organization which re-released the song to reconnect the world through music from shared relief that music has the power to break boundaries and overcome language between people this is why i've always say the beat can also bring people of different races together and you don't necessarily have to understand the lyrics and this particular song was sang by different artists from Julio Iglesia, Jose Fernandez. The same song was re-released by Suchero, an artist from Italy in 2012, and it became an instant hit. So today, without wasting any time, today I am so proud and honored to introduce this song written by Jose Martin, a poet from Cuba, Guatemala, take it on. I want artists, up and coming artists, independent artists to take their time when creating a song. Don't rush yourself, take your time and try to create a great song. I am here to inspire, 
young artists, up and coming artists, so that tomorrow you'll be remembered by your songs, by your works. I want you to listen to the song again. Since 1891, listen to the song again. I hope it makes sense to artists when I talk about quality, not quantity, when I talk about a great song. It's the beat, it's the sound, it's the rhythm, it's the conga, it's the guitars, all the instruments creating a great song. As you can hear yourself, this is why this song was sung with so many artists. It's such a great, great song. I hope it makes sense. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to press that buzzer so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. I want to thank my subscribers, those on Instagram, those on Facebook, those on YouTube. Thank you. I'll leave you listening to Guatemala. Take it on.